In this video, uh, we're going to uh, start learning HTML components and specifically, we'll be looking at headings. So first of all, let's open uh, our text editor. Uh, we're going to need to open our HTML folder. So we're going to use the getting started uh, link and then open folder. And if we go to the desktop and then the complete web development course, then we can select the HTML folder. Just click on select folder. And now you can see our HTML folder in there and all the files inside the folder. Okay, and if you click on any of the files, you can see the corresponding code uh, for that file. At the moment, we've got only one file, but uh, all the files that we're going to be creating during the HTML chapter are going to go here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to split my screen into two halves. So the right hand side half is going to have the HTML code and the left hand side half is going to have the corresponding web page to that code. So to use the right hand side half, I'm going to click on the uh, Windows button and the right arrow. OK. And the uh, web page is going to go there. So rather than going to the course folder HTML and opening the page using Chrome, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use one of the really good functionalities of brackets. I'm going to use the live preview icon. So if you click on that icon, okay, and then click on window left, then you can see the actual uh, web page corresponding to the HTML code in there. And the good thing is if you click on any of the elements in there, you can see the corresponding elements in the web page. And also if you make any change, you can see the change happening live as you are changing the code. Okay. So this is one of the really great uh, functionalities of uh, brackets. So now we're going to look at headings. So I'm going to go to the Wikipedia homepage. Okay. And I'm going to go to an article. So let's type nature. Okay. And we've got a really nice article uh, in here about nature. Uh, let's see how we can make a heading just like this one. So if you go to, if you click right and go to inspect element. Okay. So if you open this division. Okay. You will see that our heading. Okay. Corresponds to this code. All right. And you can see that we're using an H1 tag and some text between the tags. Okay. At the moment, forget about the attributes. Okay, but just remember, we've got H1 tags and text between the tags. So let's go ahead and practice this. So, so we're going to create a new file. I'm going to call it headings.html. Okay, and I'm going to copy the code from the hello world file. And we'll change the title to headings. Okay, and we're going to get rid of the paragraph. So we're going to create our first heading using H1. Right. And we're going to call it first heading. Or let's call it heading one. Okay. So if I click on control uh, D, I'm going to du duplicate this line. And I'm going to create another heading, but this time I'm going to use, I'm going to create a smaller one using H2. And you can see that the second heading is smaller than the first heading. Okay. And if we duplicate again, control D, we can create another one, H3, and it's smaller than the two previous ones. And we can carry on until, okay, H4, 5, and then six and a smaller one we can have or the smallest we can have is h6 okay that's the small the, the smallest size you can have okay so that's it regarding headings in the next video we'll learn paragraphs